and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some mono black aggro. We have a pretty sweet lineup of six decks here to finish out our 12 hour stream after the, M the MCQ earlier, as you can see here on the left hand side. So we're going with some fun ones. Uh, the MCQ didn't work out for us, so let's have some fun. Uh, we're going to start here with Mono Black Aggro, a deck we made uh, for Throwback Thursday, two Thursdays ago, uh, where we wanted to try out uh, Ruin Raider and Dreadshade in Standard, since these two cards didn't get to see a lot of play. And our deck actually worked really well. It was it was really impressive um, before, and it was just, you know, it was, more impre you know, it was better than, than expected. And our, all of our three drops were just awesome. Rotting Registrar, Ruin Raider, Dreadshade, they all performed really well. Um, just So I, I liked how this deck felt. Very low to the ground here with our 19 Swamps. Um, and so let's let's give this another try. Let's, let's try it again and see if we can um, pull out some wins with Mono Black Aggro. So here we go. All right, so we're going to uh, go ahead and play a league here. Pay our 1,000 gold, see if we can win some more gold. All right, where's Mono Black Aggro? There we are. And here we go. All right, good. A good fun deck to start with. So I know like the two Mono Black decks that we have, Mono Black Aggro and Mono Black Control, those are two decks that a lot of people have been wanting to see again. So th those are going to be the bookends of our stream, our first and last deck. And besides that, we have some other black decks. Kali and Friends, Five Color Reborn, Grixis, Golgari, all of our decks having some black in them here today. And we'll have our black kitty. Hey, MTG bot, welcome back. Thanks so much there, Dan. Thank you very much. All right, good opening hand for us here. Just one drop, two drop, and then a couple big dinosaurs at the top end. Looks like it's mono red day today. The Saturday of Saturday of Mono Red. Hey Flux. So yeah, usually Mono Mono Red beats Mono Black in the aggro matchups. Or like because they just have like uh more damage based threats and removal and all that kind of stuff. However, uh, Rotting Registrar really like Rotting Registrar really helps this matchup. It's it's maybe my best card in this matchup. <clears throat> hey, thanks Flux. Thanks to Twitch Prime Sub. Because it's just so big that it doesn't die to the red red burn spells. Usually you don't have a black creature that doesn't die to the red burn spells. So having Rotting Regisaur certainly helps. That's a lot of burn. And it gives me a fast clock. So having two Rotting Registrars in my opening hand like this is really good.
So still like our chances here. The lightning strike represents five damage, but still puts us to seven. They're gonna have to start chump blocking here. They have to block with both fields. Unless they, <clears throat> unless they lightning strike the knight of the Ebon Legion. Then they only need to block with one. Alright, so Ruin Raiders coming on out. Hmm. Basically just Ruin Raider. The rest... Looks pretty good. All right, so as far as cards to bring in, I mean, I like Duress, I like Cast Down, I like Legion's End. Uh, that is too many cards, though. I could just play Duress instead of Freebooter, honestly. Yeah, because free Freebooter is always just going to die. But it does like kind of eat a burn spell when when it dies. But it also just costs two instead of one of like, you know, like this this take duress takes a burn spell, freebooter does as well. So yeah, we can keep the one freebooter. I I think I want duress more than freebooter. We'll do that. Alright. Give this a try. Uh, let me re-title the stream now. Are right, gonna get rid of the gutter bones because we're gonna have our curve here of ghoul freebooter and then the dinos. Yeah, this is a fun deck there here, Serious Ward. I like yeah. I like this deck quite a bit. Oh, we need the black hat. This does not look good for our opponent. They can't cast any of these spells. That does not look good for them. <laughs> can't cast any of those spells. Spitfire. All right, want to know. We had great hands there both those times, though. One drop, Freebooter, Rotting Registrar, rot Rotting Registrar, both games we were going to have. Yeah, boot, of course. Temple of Silence. Let's see what we've got going on over here. That's a lot of Kaya's Rats. 
That's not good for me. That's not good for me at all. Your next assignment is in Georgia. So, okay, so you get to just stay home? Nice. All right, this figure is not doing a whole lot for, for me here. Doesn't kill the deputy of detention. It's kind of a weird combination of deputy plus super you know just all kaya's ass with deputy detention it's a little bit of an odd combination Now they they Kai's wrath. I just get my graveyard marshal back. Do they have like time wipe to pick up the deputy? That would be unfortunate. Honestly, I probably should have played Dreadshade instead of Marshall here. All right, so we'll just make more zombies with the Graveyard Marshal until this other Kai's Wrath hits. Yep, we got we got budget esper control over here that we're playing against. Or rotation proof esper control.
So yeah, I could disfigure and kill the Augur Bolos, but the Augur Bolos is going to be dying whenever they Kai's Wrath anyway. <clears throat> so I don't really need to. Maybe they play like a hero of Precinct 1 or something. You never know. All right, well, we fought through three Kai's Rats. Oh no, you just Cavalier Gales into a Narset? No. No, don't do that. Yeah, of course, Boot. Yep. Yep, absolutely. I'll be taking, yeah, I'm going to take next weekend off. It'll be the other time I'll take time off in this month. I usually take like month or take time off twice in a month. And so I did like around like five days ago or so. I took a day off and then I'll take like two days off this weekend. All right, Ruin Raider being awesome in this match. We've drawn four extra cards thanks to Ruin Raider. Depoise, depose, deploy. <laughs> yeah, they're a bit flooded. So the good part about playing 19 lands, you don't get flooded. Well, I shouldn't say that now. Next next game, we're going to get flooded. Don't really want my Rune Raider to die to, you know, the double block here. Yeah, we just basically we just don't need to put more stuff out on the battlefield and make a wrath from them better. We can just kind of grind them down card by card here. We didn't do too good in the MCQ. We went one and two. Played against Mono Red twice and Vampires once. All right, so that's just game one. Uh, so all these duresses, Midnight Reapers, Drill Bits, Freebooter out against the control deck, and then 
just figures out um, Legion sends out. I'll we'll keep the cast downs. I guess I could play Noxious Grasp instead of cast down. Noxious Grasp doesn't kill Augur Abolos. I'll just keep the cast downs. So there's a whole lot of threes. I could trim on some Rotting Registors. Like, rotting isn't as good in this matchup whenever you know they have just hard removal for it in this kind of matchup. Hey, Boo, thanks for gifting out a sub to Arocalypse. Santa Boot. Okay, we are going to be mulliganing this hand and keeping this one ditching a swamp. Okay, got our bones in. Definitely like having this Ruin Raider in our hand. Ooh, we need our lucky black cat. No, don't take the Ruin Raider. No. They better not have Cry of the Carnarium. I'll be really sad. All right, we'll have double duress here. We're going to do the attacking first, not let our opponent know that we're going to have double duress. Because obviously if they have instant speed removal, if we play duress first, they just respond to it, respond anyway. But maybe they hold up removal for like wanting to kill a Ruin Raider kind of thing. Oh, well, I guess that is a removal spell that I didn't think of. Thief of Sanity? Thief of Sanity's annoying. Hey, Fairmount. Yeah, Thief of Sandy is rough. Cannot kill that with a Noxious Grasp. Alright, so note to self, play Cast Down, not Noxious Grasp. Wow, Ruin Raider. That's a good one. So they, they must have taken a good card because they took something over Marshall and Midnight Reaper. They must have a pretty decent card over there. Maybe they got a 7-6. This deputy is deputizing all my creatures.
think we're going to lose this, this game here. And I will be putting in all my cast downs. This game not looking so good. <clears throat> Hopefully we make them cast the Kaya's Wrath and kill the Thief of Sanity. Not super likely, though. Man, Thief of Sanity is so good. Especially with, like playing against a deck full of cheap spells. It just lets them double spell all the time. It's so good. Because the knight trades with the rotting regisaur. This, this one's over. Let's see the last card in their hand. Yeah. All right, so we got to kill Thief of Sanity. So Noxious Crafts are just out of here. Let's get the other cast downs in here. I could play Disfigure also, but cast down also kills Deputy at Attention. Um. Yeah. All right, here we go. Yeah, we could play Disfigure. It's certainly an option. Um, I think the, the four cast downs is probably enough, though. Uh, but yeah, I was looking at like maybe like the drill bit. Cutting that. Well, Thieva Sandy is really the only creature that Disfigure hits that we've seen. We've seen Deputy Detention, Augur of Bolos, and Thieva Sanity for creatures. The only other thing is that Depose Deploy, which you can get half of a Deploy. I don't know if I want a card that trades for half of a Deploy. But it does make the blocking with their 1-3s worse, for sure. Disfigure can. Took the Rotting Regisaur. Yeah. 
good because Midnight, Re Midnight Reaper was the card that I really wanted in that hand protects us from Kaya's Wrath. No, yeah, just figure is minus two, minus two. Yeah, that warrant warden card again. I guess I don't really play around that card. Correct, Sothian. Yeah, I'll be playing the standard shakeup event. Um, I'm kind of feeling like playing mono green in that thing with Vivian. I don't know if there's anything in the Golgari Stompy deck that's on that list. Actually, now come to think of it. But yeah, we'll do that tomorrow. Alright, good old Midnight Reaper, let's refill our hand here. Another time wipe and a mortify. So we'll take the other time wipe. So my plan next turn is to go Graveyard Marshal plus Knight plus Ghoul. Is there nothing from the Jun Dino list that's that's on the the list there? I mean, Esper Hero still looks like it would be just fine. Doesn't have the two Teferis or Thought Erasure. But honestly, I think it'll still be just fine. See, like, we, we played... Uh, Um, Esper Hero without Big Teferi already and just taking out Little Teferi and, and it, you know, it felt really good and just taking out Little Teferi and Thought Erasure it hurts it, but there's still just so many good cards you can play in that deck. So I was thinking about holding on to that six of land to discard to Riding Regisaur so we don't have to discard like a, t a cast down. Oh, that's a great card. Really, it's just about 
and draining them out. We'll get there eventually. Don't exile my thing. Don't scry one. And the gutter bones just never, never leave. They just keep on coming back. All right, got there. Mono black aggro. It's a pretty sweet little deck here. I really like Ruin Raider. Ugh. And then of course Knight of the Ebon Legion and Rotting Regisaur are just two really powerful cards. Yeah, I don't know. They, I guess they just have all the other sweepers with Time Wipes and Kaya's Rass. They're just going with that instead of Cry of the Carnarium. It's possible they have Cry of the Carnarium and never drew it, also. Alright. MTG bot's not not working with the song thing recently. All good. All good. Just guy control. I assume it's control. It could be like feather. I suppose. Let's go with the freebooter. See what's going on over here. This is hardly my worst defeat. Uh, yeah, this this deck and the both the mono black decks are not rotation proof decks. Let's slow neither down. neither one is. Here goes nothing. They are the the two that I built. They're relying pretty heavily on cards that are rotating out. I don't know if there is an easy way to rotation proof them or not. Or like, I don't know what would be the most efficient way to change them up, if they'd still be effective. Particularly this one, like taking out, like this deck, you know, taking out Ruin Raider, Dreadshade, this deck is not going to be powerful enough. Let's try this. Only time will tell. Good. No, no Clarion. That's good. No sword can pierce my. Come to me. Clary on my way. Come on, Liz. I will consume you. No. That's a 
challenge you want, then a challenge you'll get. Yeah, chance of Lana Warhoff getting reprinted is you'll thank me later. Gotta be like under ten percent. It's Might very very idea. low. If it was gonna be reprinted, it would have been reprinted in the core set. So it not being in the core set basically means it's not gonna be reprinted. Um your only art land drop darn <laughs> no Adanto Vanguard has zero percent chance of being reprinted Adanto Vanguard that's a that's a card that's you know refers to Adanto it, it's that's an Ixalan only card that, that will not be in Throne of Eldraine No, I am not making this up as I go. Not every fight can end in victory. Finding through all these tokens is kind of rough. But we're going to have an, a lot of cards to do so. Time. It's basically they find Clarion. Is a new lesson. It's real bad for me. This Sahili has just been awesome for them. Wow. Teferi was their worst card in hand. That's a bad sign for me. We have a very low chance of winning this game. Who are you to call me? I don't think I have Elder Spells in the sideboard, do I? I don't think I do. Sure wish I did. But I don't think I do. No, I don't. Alright, keeping in all the Legion's ends because all the tokens they can make. I guess Riding Registrar doesn't die to Clarion. Like everything else. I don't think it's worth it that at that end there. I, I didn't think it was worth it to just throw away a ruin raider to draw a card. You're saying like attack with one. I 
guess that can kill Teferi, I guess. Wish it killed more things. No, I've never tried Raider's Wake. Reaper is my anti-Deafening Clarion card, because I can't beat Deafening Clarion. Ooh, this is an interesting hand. Certainly hoping for no shock over there. Want to be able to attack with this ghoul and hit them and be able to cast the drill bit. Turn two here. Yay. Taking Baffling End means that they don't have a good answer to routing Regisaur. These cards are all just so good against me. <laughs> I just... Ugh, it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. But we're a 19 land deck. Hopefully we just keep drawing a bunch of spells. Should have taken Baffling End. I, just, I don't really want either of these creatures Baffling Ended. But, like, what am I doing if I'm just not playing stuff? This is going to be kind of hard to actually get the attack in. Come on. Five lands. We begin. Behold. So I have five two mana removal spells. I have the four legions ends. And the one noxious grasp. And we have the one Noxious Grasp in our hand. <laughs> I summon you! Right, we already got a third of our lands. Today I craft my victory. Look to the skies. We are dead. Uh 
Alright, that game was not for us. The Jeskai deck's very good at killing little creatures and making a whole bunch of blockers for little creatures. If you want to make a deck that's good against little creatures, play Jeskai Control there. All right, but we're two and one. All right, better looking hand. We got more spells, less lands. Still a couple of lands. Uh, I don't really under I don't I don't really know your question. Do you ever throw piles of cards together that's just for funsies? I mean, I make I make decks that are that I enjoy playing that are decks that I build for fun. Like that's that's this deck that we're currently playing right now. Is like is that what you mean? But I I take I take a lot of time and and build them and everything. I don't I don't know about to throw piles of cards together that's just for funsies. But I, I want them to be good and respectable and everything. Alright, so Grixis can definitely be another tough deck, but they got a lot of sweepers. With them striking the knight, that doesn't give me... You know, I, I don't I don't necessarily think that they have a sweeper if they're striking the knight there. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and risk it and get this graveyard marshal out here also. Yeah, like this is not really telling me that they have sweepers. If we would have hit the land drop, I would have played the Ruin Raider. No, I guess I don't play random non-competitive decks. If that was a question, so no, I guess I don't. I don't do that. My decks have a purpose. No, of course this this deck's not a tier one deck. Of course not.
Hooray! No sweeper. All right, Grixis again. Bring in the hand disruption. This is one where we can kind of take out all those all the removal spells. Um, yeah, because they don't kill like Nicol Bolas or anything. For that previous match, definitely wish we had elder spells, and I wouldn't mind having some elder spells here either. So maybe I maybe I should have a couple elder elder spells instead of Noxious Grasps. No, because Noxious Grasp is like pretty important against the the big green creature decks. It's important there. Usually the Planeswalker decks are Teferi or Nissa. Where Noxious Grasp does stuff. You don't see very much Sarkin, Sahili, Karn stuff going on. That was just a little unfortunate last match. Well, only, like, uh, not having any black sources means they can't, like, cry of the Carnarium next turn. I'm not really expecting Flame Sweep. I would expect cry of the Carnarium. But, who knows. I can't... Can't Ritual of Soot next turn either. Now these knights are out of Flame Sweep and Cry range. That's a good card. That's a good card. Because we'll do this so we can do four damage to them. Grow Knight. Asus Taker definitely makes me want to put Cast Down back in. All right, now they got two black sources. Hey, original Q. They're going to cast Ritual of Set. Racing? I'm expecting them just to hit for one. Oh, they're playing their own Knight of the Ebon Legion. Huh, so this is like a Grixis midrange deck, I guess?
So I know they can't cast Bolas right now, but still casting the Bedevils does tap them out of black. And it's just one for one removal. Down, down, down. So if I make this block here, no, nah, it's not worth it. So if I make that block there, then they have to tap, you know, a black source to keep their knight alive, and then they don't get to bedevil. Do they draw another swamp? Or do they just draw another a different removal spell? All right, so need a reside board. Need to bring cast downs back on in here. Settling on in here. Looks like we're probably going to a game three. They have a good amount of mana to go with these Knight of the Ebon Legions, and it's hard for me to get through those with a pile of bones. removal right now on my deck. Yuck. Well, this game looked really good for us with you know starting with them starting with the three blue, uh, red lands, but Hostage Shaker is a heck of a card, especially against Knight of the Ebon Legion. That is really really good card against Knight of the Ebon Legion because you know if you're playing Hostage Shaker, you're playing black, so you get to activate Knight. That is rough. Uh, 
Um, yeah, spawn spawn flies, but you know if we had, I don't know, we have the other black three drops that are both really big that I like a lot. Yeah, having Chupacabra would be nice, but we're a 19 land deck. Um, Kite Sail Freebooter just is always kind of not good. That's Freebooter. It's just always kind of not good. The weakest card in the deck for sure. Best thing that it does though is that this deck it does get to attack to help turn on. Um, you know, it does attack in the air that turns on the, the three two. All right, game three. Yeah, we'd have to change up a lot of... Th yeah, we could maybe have Frenzy in here. Frenzy... The problem with Frenzy is it doesn't, like... You'd, you'd play Frenzy over playing uh, the Ruin Raider. You'd play it over Ruin Raider if you wanted to play Frenzy. But like at that point, you should just be playing red black. And you should just be playing the red burn spells and all that kind of stuff. But ruin raider and, and frenzy don't work well together. With ruin raider drawing you a card, and then you can't you can't play it anyway. So, yeah, if if you want to play frenzy, you should just play red black with burn spells and stuff. All right, so not only does that take one of my three drops, but then they can also set up their next draw step to draw good things. Pretty good draw there. We'll see if we get to draw our third land, hopefully. Yay. Let me get the Dreadshade out here and just start attacking for a lot of damage. Because if we draw a land, we'll be able to dredge shade for four and play Midnight Reaper. Can also just activate dredge shade three times and get more damage in. We'll have Midnight Reaper in play here. The, pl the problem with playing the Regisaur, of course, is we have to discard Cast Down. That's definitely a problem.
All right, we'll play the dino next turn. Killing that hostage taker, super important. Yep. Yep, just get to activate Dreadshade for lethal. Dreadshade really big. All right, we're three and one. All right, mono black aggro coming through. Doing pretty good here with it. So far. No, Caesar, I haven't. No, I don't I don't uh pay attention to modern anymore. Hey baloney pony, it goes it's going pretty good. Didn't do too well in the MCQ today, so that's sad. But we we have a fun lineup of decks that we're playing here afterwards. To fill out our twelve hour stream today. Yeah, that is true. We we got a tough matchup here against the Golden God. So the Tranquil Cove, yeah, I was expecting the Scape Shift deck, and so I wanted to play the Graveyard Marshal and then Rotting Red Shore, things that just hit the hardest immediately. Sorry, I'm late. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. I want to try to hit hard. Yay, no circuitous route. That's good. Eh, I guess that thing ramps still. And gets to block for a turn. Time wipe. That's annoying. So you can go Field of the Dead plus Grow Spiral to make a 2 2. Shock. That makes sense. All right, so wait, if I attack out, they block a, a freebooter, they're dead. So they can't block a freebooter. So they have to block Graveyard Marshal, probably. Graveyard Marshal or Chump.
So they're down to three. So maybe even the free, even if they do, even if they were pretty lucky and drew escape shift, maybe we can finish them off in the air. That wasn't a bad. That wasn't necessarily a bad block by our opponent. Wow, they did. Those are a couple of really good draws there. Crisis, then escape shift. I think they should have sacked this field of the dead. They would have got two more zombies if they did. And yet, I guess it's not really the difference between lethal or not. Lethal or not lethal. All right, we do have a couple of Legion's ends in the main deck. That is not a Legion's end. Good block. My hope was that they, you know, throw a whole lot of things in front of stuff. Whew, that was rough. I mean, like, we ripped all the cards out of their hand, but just draw crisis to draw escape shift we still just lose I want to play Noxious Grasp, like, instead of, like, Ruin Raider or Dreadshade. I think the plan is just to attack Teferi. We could play a couple Grasps. I'm gonna play one grass. We're gonna take out two dread shade. All right, let's see how this does. So I think we're supposed to go freebooter on to not drill bit unless we draw another one drop.
meet again. No, they play land. Jeez. I mean, I guess I could take the scape shift. It's like they're I'm not killing them before they get to actually scape shift, so but they'll probably find another scape shift by then. I mean, maybe taking, like, Rejuvenator. I'm just going to take the Binding. Should have taken deputy. All right, so they get to ferry back. If they bounce knight or gutter bones, then we have to discard them to the rotting register. I'll protect you. You just let me know if you're up for round two. <clears throat> We're hoping we get to hold on here. It's not looking real great for us. Yep, we'll be playing Kalia up next. And yes, Odin Leader, as you can see over here on the left-hand side, we went one and two with Teamer Elementals. We have four Legion's Ends in the deck, but I guess 
I mean, I could have taken the other dread shades out for more noxious grasps. I didn't. I didn't know they were going to have all these deputy detentions. If if I would have known they would have had deputy detentions, yeah, I would have would have put in more noxious grasps. Stitcher supplier doesn't rotate. Stitcher supplier right? Or does it rotate? Well, I guess it does, doesn't it? I was thinking it was from I was thinking it was from Guilds of Ravnica, but I guess it's not, is it? How do we beat these cards? I guess it's by taking this and drawing Legion's End. Yeah, Stitcher was M19. Yeah, at first I just thought that like, Guilds are Avnica. But then realized, wait, no, it's it wasn't. So yeah, M19. So yeah, that'll rotate out. <laughs> they even they draw a land and it's devastating. Four legions ends in the deck. Haven't seen one yet. Got to draw one here. Deputy Detention messed me up pretty bad there. Yeah, that's probably where they were on the bottom of the library. Alright, so Mono Black Aggro. Still did pretty well. Um, I, I just didn't consider Deputy Detention too much, so I, I do wish that I would have had more Noxious Grasps. In as well after sideboarding there. Um, I would say that I wasn't super impressed with drill bit. Or at least I wanted an elder spell or two, you know, like with you know playing against like that that planeswalker deck. I think we could trim a drill bit for an elder spell. I guess drill bit was still pretty important against like the scape shift deck. Like having a whole lot of discard is important there. But I want one elder spell. I guess Midnight Reaper. Maybe that's the card that we could kind of trim more. Because we do have just kind of too many three drops. It's like bringing in Midnight Reaper and taking out Rotting Registor. That's like a, a marginal upgrade. It does help out against like those removal heavy decks. You know, like we had a Midnight Reaper that got Kaya's Draft away and we drew a lot of cards and that helped us beat Esper. So that's a marginal upgrade. 
Do we really need two Elder Spells, though? No, just the one. Yeah, that's what I do. Just take out a Drill Bit for an Elder Spell. There we go. Um, but yeah, that's Mono Black Aggro. Still a pretty sweet deck here. So if you're watching the video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed Mono Black Aggro here. And if so, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over on YouTube. I would appreciate both of those. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.